We're going to try something crazy. Looks like it's set up saying that it's receiving my content. I'm not actually able to see chat. This is totally brand new. All right, so it looks like the internet can see me now, which is a shame because I don't actually have any content. Let's try and put that up online so you, I can at least verify that there is in fact live material. Now, how the hell do I see chat? Actually, you know what? If you guys want to keep chatting inside of um, Twitch, All right, I really wish I could see chat in, uh... oh, there we go. All right, apologies uh, to those of you who are stopping by and uh, wondering what the devil is going on. We've actually just um, just switched over to give uh, YouTube a try. So let me just find the link for this stream. Send it over to you good people. And then we should be ready to go. Um, <laughs> we've been live for two minutes, no content, and I have no idea how to give the... I have no idea how to actually uh, let people watch this thing. Oh my. Oh, right, here we go. All right, guys, uh, I would love some feedback in terms of what the uh, quality is on HD. Um, but uh, I'm just going to keep playing the game and we will see how this experiment goes. Uh, so far, I am pretty much laughing as far as the stream quality is concerned. Uh, I'm definitely pushing the edges of what my upload will allow me to do. But um, so far, no drop frames. So let's just get this underway. Uh, I am going to be streaming at 60 FPS, and I hope that let me um, let me actually enable that in Steam to make sure that this game's going to take advantage of it. But this should be a much better looking um, should be a much better looking stream than what we've had previously. So.
Um, and if I could just get some people to maybe speak up and verify that uh, that they're able to watch this stream, um, that there aren't any kind of problems or anything like that. All right, sweet. So it's going to be... So you guys are going to have to forgive me a little bit. It's going to be very hard to keep track of multiple chats and also making sure everything doesn't go. But how is the... Yeah, so it looks like the quality is spot on. No video or audio lag. You are, in fact, able to watch. Okay, sweet. All right, guys. So I obviously understand if you don't want to be registered for YouTube to have this stuff go by. Uh, the game is running in... Oh, actually, it looks like it's locked to 30 frames per second. Um, so 60 FPS is not going to... Sorry, guys, 60 FPS is not actually going to help us right now. So I'm going to turn that off. Um, just because that's going to mean that you get a slightly better... Okay, guys, I'm just going to turn off the stream one more time. And this is just to disable the 60 FPS, and that's because it's not actually going to help out the um, it's not actually going to help out the the quality for this game because it's locked to 30. So I will be back in a second, and hopefully this will make the game look even better. No, okay. So this is actually really good information for me. So it sounds like there's no delay in terms of talking with people. So from what I'm getting, the impression is like there's more or less instantaneous back and forth, and the, um, and it sounds like the uh, the chat experience is better. So like I just saw Enders12 say excellent, Jesse Quill saying hi hi, and I'm guessing that you're all pretty much seeing that around the time uh, time I respond. Actually, here's a here's the case. As I always like to say, could somebody say potato when they hear this? Okay, definitely not as not quite as uh, as fast as I was thinking it would be. Um, but yeah, so guys, I'm gonna try and take a look at both chats. Uh, looks like there's a little bit more activity going on inside YouTube right now, but it looks like I'm gonna have to make some decisions here in terms of whether or not I do a transition. <laughs> um, there is a service I know of that will allow me to. Um, There's a service that'll allow me to stream out to multiple sources. Um, but, uh... Look at these things. They're BARs. You get the odd guy who sneaks one of them home from the war. How did he get three of them? Yeah, so the catch here is that, um, I would actually be decreasing the quality of my broadcasts in order to, um, to keep streaming on Twitch. Yes, we do get to read again. This is the big one. <laughs> um, we don't have stupid rules. So, a really interesting thing happened when I was talking with uh, with Jesse Quill in Vancouver. It looks like they've actually updated the terms of service to specifically forbid reading. So, we made Twitch history chat! <laughs> um, yeah, so it sounds like everybody... Hey, Evan, uh, Evan, that's Pie of Reckoning, right? Sorry, guys, there's, I'm going to have to get a little bit used to some new names here. So this is definitely going to be a little bit of an experiment, a little bit of uh, getting used to. And I'm obviously not paying attention to this game at all. <laughs> um, but I'm... Uh, I'm getting some ideas. Um, I actually, I like... I like that this so far seems to have been a positive, um, a positive development. Bad luck, Eddie. Okinawa couldn't kill you, but knowing the wrong people in this city... Okay, I'm just gonna take a second here. I'm losing a lot of chat info because my dashboard is over it, so... Just one more second.
Oh, that's really cool. Um, yeah, I mean, so like, here's the thing, right? I've got a, you know, my followers are on Twitch. Um, you know, the foot traffic I get from Twitch is, is good. Um, so the decision that I need to make now is, you know, how do I find a way of incorporating what seems to be a better streaming platform into my broadcast plans? Um, because I think it's safe to say that uh, for those of you who have the bandwidth that this stream is looking better, um, or alternatively, you're seeing the imperfections of the game as they, uh, you know, as, as I'm seeing them. Um, there's definitely some pretty interesting effects on this, uh, <laughs> on this coat. Theater mode doesn't do good things to chat. Okay. Um, but yeah, so if the video quality is better... And uh, I have the option of 60 frame. So, like, the big thing for me is that um, if I... So, here's the thing that really hurts um, when you're not partnered on, on Twitch. When it comes to streaming quality. To um, do I not get to interact with any of this? Okay, fair enough. So the thing that's kind of brutal is, let's say, you know, I have a good time, maybe I do like three word story for Clara or something like that, and we get transcodes because there's enough people to support that in the cast, and then I want to switch to something like Dark Souls or that, uh, and I want to like have the full experience, I want to like take it to 60 frames or something like that. I can't actually do that without turning off the stream. I can't go from 30 to 60 frames without um, turning the stream off. And turning the stream off is going to prevent me from getting those transcodes. Uh, because again, people knock off and you probably don't have enough people to support it again. You just inevitably lose people uh, through the transition. And so, you know, what I could do is I could say, okay, well, I'm just going to do 60 frames per second on the normal, you know, on a normal Twitch stream. Um, but the drawback there is that I... I stream at 2500 kbps and so immediately half of that is just going towards um, encoding those uh, twice as many frames so in this case it's a it's not it's not a good quality option to kind of hope that I get um, to hope that I get like transcodes or something like that because it happens so rarely for me and it's not a complaint obviously like I'm a very small caster um, but you know all of these options, or so all of these problems suddenly go away when I'm on YouTube. So for instance, I could be streaming at 60 frames a second right now, except that I know that the game will look better if I'm not wasting all of that uh, effort to encode, you know, the 60, uh, the 30 extra frames that you guys won't be seeing. So... Yeah, and tr well, I mean, possibly it kills off some of the viewership. I think most people know the trick now that you need to reload the stream. Um, and I've actually talked with, so I've talked with Jessie Quill about this before because, I mean, she gets transcodes pretty regularly. And, um, I think the big, the big thing to notice is that, um, there are definitely some people who are kind of like, you know, on the verge of partnership or like regularly getting people coming in with transcodes. It's more, more of a question of like, when do they... Like, when do the transcodes hit, rather than, like, you know, are they going to get them today? Like, it's... There's some people that you just know, right? You're going to see that uh, those quality options come sooner rather than later. So, what would be better, and what would let people plan their casts a little bit more, would be... Okay, so there's nothing out here for us. So what would be better is if, you know, they just kind of took, like, let's say a rolling average of the week or something like that, or the month or something. Ba basically, they identified the people who are most likely to get transcodes. Now, again, you can't pr predict this stuff with perfect accuracy, but, I mean, let's face it. You and I know, and we don't have access to the Twitch data. They've got a data science team. They have everything that they need to know about their platform 
I think it's safe to say that there is a way to um, predict it. And I mean, I know I'm kind of crapping on Twitch right now, but frankly, if you guys haven't figured that out, uh, hire me. <laughs> I, I can do this. Um, I mean, yeah, okay, small company with small data team, but I mean, it's... Like, so here's the thing. Like, if you and I can just sit down and say, yeah, so-and-so is probably going to get transcodes tonight, there's definitely a straightforward way of finding that. Hey, Elbidon! We can see you. Um, yeah, I am exactly that person, Endors. Well, look, I'll put it to you this way, right? I think there are many ways that Twitch can do things better. Uh, and I think it is, you know, you could be the kind of company that says you need to swear the oath of loyalty. You need to never question what's going on. You need to assume that the platform is perfect the way that it is and we're just going to maintain it. Uh, or you can say there's always room for improvement, that we want to have... Well, Roy, I didn't know you felt that way about me. <laughs> Okay. I'm sorry I made you uncomfortable. Um, you know, you can say, look, you need people who say, here are the flaws in the platform. Here's where it's gone wrong. This is a ridiculous policy and we need to change it. And I mean, obviously you want to kind of watch the way you talk because in business environments, people, you know, you, you kind of have to watch your tone. So that's probably the one thing I need to work on. Um, but frankly, like if, I'll put it to you this way, if I was running some kind of a business, or a good example here, right? I'm very slowly moving towards creating my own game. I would much rather have somebody, you know, try it out and say, you know, look, I'm going to be honest with you. It's like, this may be perfectly accurate and exactly the way you imagined it, but this is not fun. I would much... Or is this coming from what's left in circulation? Yeah, I would much prefer... Army surplus morphine, army surplus weapons, army surplus valors. Sound familiar? We should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly was lifted from that ship. Uh, I would definitely much prefer somebody to just be honest with me because then I could improve. But anyways... Um, yeah, so, you know, one thing I'll say, I, looked, I think this is pretty much just like everybody I already know who's, uh, who's in here, but uh, I was hearing that apparently when you go on YouTube gaming, like, it's just a bunch of people who are, like, awful. Um, I've had nothing but fun so far. What do I need honesty for, AFK? Um, uh, maybe, Endors? All right, I don't think I'm gonna find any more of these clues. And sorry, guys, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to turn this into a polemic. Like, obviously, we're here to play the game, so. Ma'am, I'm Detective Phelps, Administrative Vice Squad. Milady. Welcome to the 111 Club, Detective. Feels like I've had half the LAPD in here today already. Name is the Hostess. Ma'am, have you ever thought of the name The Phelps? I can make that happen. This how you usually solve a crime? I feel like I need to get to know my witnesses. In the biblical sense, maybe. Do you have lodgings nearby? Any idea who did the shooting? No idea. It was my day off. If I had been here, honey, I'd be full of holes, just like the others. Do you normally come in on your day off? So I can't actually catch her in a lie on this, but I will doubt it. You want to level with me, miss, before we start taking an interest in you? This place has been on the slide for years. Eddie turns up, buys the club, then we start getting visits from tough guys. Next thing you know, we have the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Are you getting the picture? Ah, I was right. I was right, chat. <laughs> um, T. Clark. Um, I just think all women look the same. 
Oh, have a good one, Logan. So guys, actually, I should uh, I should mention I'm actually getting a little bit. Uh... <laughs> um. I should uh, I should mention I'm actually not doing a very good job on catching up with chat, but it looks like most people who went to um, most people who went to uh, went from Twitch uh, came into YouTube. So actually, let's just get a quick roll call. Uh, could I get any, either everybody who's watching in Twitch chat or everybody who's watching in YouTube to just give me a quick here, even if you were a lurker or something like that? I'd just be really interested to see how many people we had transition Is that over. You usually solve a crime. Are you trying to get my attention, my lady? You have it. Tell us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the place. The previous owner thought all his Christmases had come at once. Lie! It was probably a saunter that he used. Um, okay, I wasn't actually paying attention to the dialogue. So... <sighs> Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the place. Previous owner thought all his Christmases had come at once. That actually seems credible. Um, so I will take a quick look at the evidence, but it seems to me that this is the truth. And the game crashed. So apologies, ladies and gentlemen. We will be back momentarily with the game. This is purely on me. <laughs> All right, this is actually uh, a better turnout than I thought we were going to have. Um, so we've got uh, Jesse Quill, Frantic Whisperer, T. Clark, Endors, and Albadon. And then Logan obviously was uh, here just a little while. A little while ago. Okay, do I have any way of enabling... I'm just going to take a minute here and see if I can enable 60 frames a second to like really make this thing sing. Um, <laughs> uh, wants me to download something. Why don't they just make this a console command? All right, not worth it. Uh, let's just get back into the game. I'm going to attempt fate. I'm actually going to start my downloads again. I want to see what that does to my frame rate. Looks like we're still good. All right. This is a crappy... I I need to appreciate. It's been a while since I've been streaming. Oh, actually, it looks like it's blinking a little bit. Uh, no, we're still live. Okay. But yeah, so um, obviously I was hoping to like set up a stream that you guys would have some fun with. And... Um, it's wound up being a little bit more technical than I wanted, but hopefully uh, once we get on our feet, we'll have some good times. And maybe if you guys are up to it, we can experiment with a couple of other different games and um, see, uh, see if we can maybe push out a little bit more performance out of this thing, huh? All right, back to Manifest Destiny.
Uh, another thing I was actually looking forward to doing, so, um, I've been... Kowski. Phelps. Back again. We're here about the morphine. Over by the bandstand. You can see what's left of the owner, Eddie McGoldrick. 26, former Marine. I know Eddie McGoldrick. He was a non-com in my old unit. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Cole. The waitress said he recently came into some money and bought the club. Who are the other Vicks? Two musicians, Biddleston and Bo. And get this, they used to be in a four-piece, but the trombone player and the drummer OD'd. Don't tell me. Lamont and Tyree? We've met the rest of the band. Now they're a no-piece. <laughs> no-piece, my favorite around? bathing Be my suit. Guest. You might want a word with the hostess, too. I'll keep her company until you're ready. I'll be honest. Uh, YouTube, not a... I thought the streaming would be HTML5. Let me see if I can change that in channel settings. Allow advertise. No, don't put advertising on. Okay, looks like I got a couple things I can do here. Ah, uh, da 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 da. Yep. All right. I suspect you good people have ad block on already just in case you don't it should be disabled the ads should be disabled hey Paula tacos all right I think I'm just gonna straight up transition over to uh, to having live chat up All right, and then we'll actually be back into, you know, the whole game thing. Oh, okay. Looks like I can't download games while running at the full <laughs> at the full resolution. I tried. Um, I would end doors, but I've actually spent a lot of time out of the game itself, so... Yeah, I know it's not perfect, guys, but... <laughs> I don't know, like, to me, when I think about priority... I can't move. Oh, yeah, there we go. Um... When I think about priorities, right, like, I... Number one, want to have the best quality of cast that I can. Audio and video. Uh, I think the rest of it is, you know, secondary. So, like, for me... Just pumped a dozen rounds into it. Oh, I'm going to have to go through all this stuff again. Message. Um, so, you know, I'm... Like, as much as I love Clara's emotes, right? If this means that I'm able to stream games at higher quality, uh, I'm not going to cry too much about not having those panda emotes. Um... And maybe, I don't know, I haven't looked into my options on YouTube, right? Um, one of the things I was planning on doing is I've got a well, lot of, like, replication and um, econ work to do. Um, so, I think it'd be really cool for those of you who are, like, interested in this stuff. Um, it's going to take me a little bit because I found out it's actually not that easy to set up OBS on Fedora. Obviously, that's going to be my okay. Linux distribution. <laughs> um... But, um, I think, uh, for those of you who are interested in, like, seeing, uh, actual, like, empirical work done in economics, 
Um, I can do a stream where I take a project like right from the beginning and uh, take it through from a, like, okay, here's the thing we're going to test. Here's how we know the results that we have are, you know, how do we know it's a valid inference as opposed to just, you know, finding some weird correlation that doesn't actually, uh, you know, isn't necessarily supported. And um, try to make it as uh, easy to replicate as possible. So, like, the idea is that it would be using all three... Um, Army surplus again. Like all free software, like R, um, and, uh, you know, I'd, I'd maybe try and, like, put the files online so that you guys could try this yourself or something like that, so. Thousand packs to a carton. Hundred cartons or more. Looks like a couple of months' supply. By the way, I'm really surprised, so I want to know what the deal is, uh, whether or not, like, Claire was having any problems or something like that, because I know I'm certainly very mystified as to why brand new. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't stream on 7 yet. We could check on the serial number. Hey, yep! This guy hunting for bear? Look at these things. They're BARs. You get the odd guy who sneaks one of them home from the war. Endors, you can touch whatever you want. Army surplus morphine, army surplus weapons, army surplus valors. Sound familiar? We should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly was lifted from that ship. Message retracted. Wait, you can do that? Let me know what you said. <laughs> Okay, I need to find a way to disable that feature. That's horrible. <laughs> Man. Okinawa couldn't kill you, but knowing the wrong people in this city. I cannot wait for Jesse Quill to try her first YouTube gaming um, stream. There's going to be so many message re <laughs> There's gonna, it's going to be like the Nixon tapes <laughs> redacted 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 Yeah, I I mean it's kind of fun like to see that uh, it, it's fun to, like, see that feature, but I have a feeling that's just going to become a new kind of spam. Um, like, to as a broadcaster, I can say it's actually a little... It's a little... Um, I won't say disorienting, but it, it's a little bit of a drag on the cast, because, like, I definitely feed a lot off of chat interaction. To try to crack and to, like, look over and just see messages vanishing. Like, right now, I don't actually have any content in my chat. It's literally just a full column of message retracted. So, it's, uh, I think it's actually not a bad idea, because, like, a really good example here would be, um, I kind of feel bad talking about this because it isn't really my story to say but it's also kind of anonymous enough that I think it's it kind of passes the test like some guy asks Clara out in her chat and like she doesn't notice um, but he like he has second thoughts and you know asks to you know could you please purge me so in this case you know wedgie does the nice thing. He says, okay, I'll purge you if you want, and he hits it. Now, I mean, that eliminates everything, right? What he wanted was to retract one of his statements. And of course, if I was the mod, I'd be like, ha, no, you gotta live with your decisions, my friend. Um, yeah, so like, obviously, this is a really, you know, giving people the power to decide, you know, what they, you know, what they said, what they want to hang on to, um, is... You know, I think that's okay. Like, I can delete my tweets. Uh, obviously, that's something that can be abused. I can say something hurtful and then, you know, pull it back because I'm a coward. Um, but I think overall, you know, giving people the option, you know, to to have that sober second thought is a good thing. Um, so I support that. But on the other hand, 
Jock draws more attention to the embarrassment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, in Better Twitch TV, you can, you can see the, uh, the messages. Well-maintained custom case. Someone cared for this instrument. Um, but yeah, so like obviously the the problem here is that you know, like I said, I I feed a lot off of chat. I mean, obviously you guys can do what you want, um, but I know if I really wanted to troll the streamer on uh, on YouTube, I would just uh, I'd be retracting everything. Um, anyways, so for that other guy, I'll I might as well finish the story because you know, screw him. Um, after saying he was so embarrassed, he then follows the raid into W. Shand's chat. This is just after W. Shand and Clara started dating. And then he talks about how he was so embarrassed for asking Clara out. Asks her out again in Shand's chat. It's the first time she... And actually, I think she was out of the room at the time. So he does it a third time. She finally realizes, you know, talks him off the ledge. And, um... Follow up on the musician. Yeah. This is an example of a situation where letting people delete their messages is a good thing. <laughs> but. Does YouTube, do YouTube gaming streams get custom emotes if they are partnered? I don't believe so, but I literally just wanted to try well, live streaming on Phelps, YouTube. Administrative by squad. Welcome to the 111 Club, Detective. No, no, this is a real thing that Feels happened. Like I've had half the LAPD in here today already. Any idea who did the shooting? No idea. It was my day off. If I had been here, honey, I'd be full of holes just like the others. I think she's telling the truth this time. You want to level with me, miss, before we start taking an interest in you. This place has been on the slide for years. Eddie turns up, buys the club, then we start getting visits from tough guys. Next thing you know, we have the St. Valentine's Day massacre. Are you getting the picture? Ma'am, you are smiling in this other photo. Care to explain the inconsistency? Also, are you... Okay, she is wearing shoes. Tell us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the place. The previous owner thought all his Christmases had come at once. Um, so just a quick look at the notebook. I don't believe there's anything I can really say. Like, there's nothing about... This is entirely about a person, right? We don't have any evidence about this person other than what Cole knows, so in this case, I'm going to say truth. Where do you think you got the money? My guess was that he was selling the sort of quality product that you don't need to advertise. Thank you for your help, ma'am. Eddie was in I over rule. his head, but he was a decent boss. All right. That was some MLG L.A. Noir there. Doritos and Mountain Dew for everyone. Just when I think I've seen it all. So, uh... You know, I'm kind of famous, right? I think that's all there is. You better excuse me, honey. Yeah, see, she called me honey. We're making, we're going places. Is the gaming app everything that you hoped it would be, Albadon? Does it allow you to... to see what you need? I swear, this town's going straight to hell. All right, sounds good, Elvidon. Um, I'll try not to do too much clowny nonsense, but no promises. You might want to turn the volume down. Um, do we have access to a phone somewhere? All right, no calls to make, so. Um, Hollywood Police Station. And hopefully we get some murder missions on the side. Just not signed in so you can't chat. So I'll ask you all the important questions. How well did you know the owner? Goldrick? Well enough. He was in my unit. That's some cruel irony. You survive the war and then get blown to pieces back home. It happens more than you think. Young guys 
trying to adjust to normal. Maniac! What's wrong with you? I was actually watching chat on that one. <laughs> Kid had just bought a nightclub. I'd say he got mixed up in the right crowds. Until someone filled him full of holes. You don't come into that kind of money that quickly without pissing a few people off. So I'm a little curious to find out whether or not this is an element that uh, Rockstar added. Are you crazy? When they started, when the program, like when the game started getting a little troubled, because like it's obviously the most um, GTA-ish component. But um, I mean, I also think it kind of works. Hey, that fucking rat Stoker has gone public about Brenda. Who is Brenda? Brenda is LA's most famous madam. Everyone knows it? Of course everyone knows. Brenda pays her way. Are we cops or a collection agency? Fours have been around since the Bible. Our job is to keep it off the street so Joe Citizen and his wife can stroll around unmolested. But we should change the law. Are you out of your mind? Every politician in America is against prostitution. Except when they're using them. So where does Stoker come in? He objects to the LAPD and the administration taking its cut. Is everyone in on this? Yeah, and that's the problem. From a little acorn does a large tree grow. He could bring the whole thing crashing down on us. Aren't you supposed to be working the... Sir, do you know which robbery detectives are working the army surplus theft from the Corridge? Caldwell and McManus. I saw Caldwell in the squad room not long ago if you want to speak to him. Thank you, sir. We'll do that. This way. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. <laughs> I want Excuse to put me. down one round. So, um, actually, I know L.A. Noir tends to be comedy time, but, um... Eric. Oh, never mind. You got a minute? Sure, Cole, any time. You've been working how about the right now? On the SS cool Ridge? Yeah, that's right. So how do you see it? Inside job. All right, sure thing, Jesse. Cook in the war. There's some of the guys on the ship. What else was taken apart from the morphine? A case of BA. I was gonna try a little bit of real talk, but if you're not by the keys, I'll just get your feedback on this a little bit later. At a shooting at the 111 Club. No kidding. I better get over there. Do you have a copy of the manifest? Yeah. Here it is. <laughs> so, how do we connect the docks robbery to the mess at the 111 Club? We checked the man fest, obviously. Um, so yeah, I was actually going to say they brought up the idea of uh, legalizing prostitution. And one thing that sort of got my attention uh, was... Enough to arm three companies. Here's our backroom arsenal from the 111 Club. Um... So yeah, they talked about the legalization of prostitution, and it was a position that I had held for a while. Um, I always feel it's a little... Uh, I'll just hold off a second. Obviously, they've circled it because I am an idiot and I need it. But, um, you know, I think it's kind of lame that you sort of, whenever engaging in this kind of topic, you need to say it's like, not because I intend to use them, but because, you know, like... I think you guys kind of already know my character, um, but for those of you who need it spelled out, no, it is not because I intend to, you know, if it were to be legalized, I would not. Uh, <laughs> I would still have a zero consumption of that particular good. Um, but, I mean, the argument seems to be fairly weak. So, I mean, you can do the prohibition side to say that... Uh, I said, oh, legalize prostitution, and you think of me. Well, you know. All the lady streamers are the same, right? <laughs> no, it's because I think it's actually something... Uh, I just contradicted that. <laughs> okay. No, it's. I mean... It's something that... Uh, it's kind of a, an issue that I think you probably would have some views on. So, in any case, the idea here is... You would, um, you know, you can take the George Carlin approach saying, you know, selling is legal, fucking is legal. Why isn't selling fucking legal? Um, 
you can go with the prohibition end to say that it hasn't been able to, you know, it, it's just simply not stopped the practice. Uh, and it would be safer for people if we had institutions in place to manage, to regulate it. We would stop the money going into crime. You know, you could do just a moral point of view, which is people should be able to decide what they want to do with their bodies, right? If somebody wants to uh, hire someone and if somebody is willing to, uh, you know, rent themselves, for lack of a better term you know, is it really my place to tell them what they should do? Uh, and I mean, obviously, in terms of society, like, escort companies already exist. Um, like, this is a practice that sort of exists in, like, a, a legal gray area already. And, you know, it just seems it would be better if we just had some established rules uh, in, in place. Um... And I mean, obviously, there's all the scandal and stuff like that that's already happened in terms of politicians who, you know, who engage in that practice. So, you know, this used to be a pretty... You still have to pay money for those views if it gets legalized. <laughs> well, like, here's the thing, right? It's that all of a sudden, like, the premium... It's, it's, the rents aren't being extracted by the criminal element like these are people who will be making money for their work rather than you know the dangers that are brought in by the criminal element i mean the serial killer that vancouver had preyed on you know streetwalkers um there's a lot of different uh situations that um that have come up because of the Ill illegality of the activity now in europe they've tried this experiment and I was actually quite surprised. So I think it was Germany that loosened the laws, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but as it turns out, uh, human trafficking increased, didn't decrease, which is what you would normally expect from something like that, right? Um, once it became legalized, it became a destination for, you know, when you get somebody, when you, uh, when you want to force them into the activity. Uh, the legalization actually opened the floodgates and um, there was a higher incidence of people who were being trafficked winding up in those areas. So it's actually given me pause um, because all of the arguments that I found the most convincing are the ones that are about making the life of the worker better. Um, I could really care less about the consumer, to be totally frank. Um, you know, I'll try to be as neutral as I can in terms of the, you know, the practice. I will admit I find it something of an unsavory practice, but I mean, I also don't like certain kinds of music and, you know, I don't have the same religion as other people. So like there's a bunch of stuff I disagree with people about that I can still be civil over. Um, but I think what's interesting about what happened in that I'll say German case, but at least European case. I know it was a European country. Like it was a developed European country. Um, it definitely gave me pause because I don't want to take these, you know, very liberal principles that I hold and, you know, because I want to get dogmatic about people's freedom to choose that suddenly I introduce a new set of suffering into the world, especially on the issue of human trafficking, because, of course, that's entirely about the... Um, you know, stripping people of their right to choose. So, and no enders, uh, William Picton. So in the Netherlands where prostitution is legal, although still suffers from human trafficking, it's heavily regulated. Sex workers are required to be health checked, et cetera, to keep their license. Yes, absolutely. Um, yeah, so uh, obviously um, the Netherlands is a very good example of this working. Um, but... See, the... Half a million Surrettes loose on the streets of L.A. Some of these guys are from my old unit. They must have finally shipped home. Kelso, Sheldon. But Goldrick. But Goldrick was on the boat? Sure, we checked him out. Goldrick bought the 111 Club, Harry. His brains are all over the bar. Looks like whoever stole the dope is getting muscled. By whom? Dragner or Cohen. They control the hop. Thanks, Harry. Stay in touch on this. So the thing that makes this really difficult from a policy evaluation point of view is that obviously you only have one country and constructing the counterfactual is very difficult, right? You, you can't go back in time and say, man, I wish I was actually able to read the paper. 
Um, you know, you can't go back in time and say it's like, okay, we're going to you know, do parallel dimensions, one in which we legalize prostitution, one in which we don't. Let's see what happens. Um, you also can't, you know, randomize over a whole bunch of countries. And of course, even if you did, um, the one challenge is, is that, you know, we might have a very interesting situation where you say, okay, it worked in Amsterdam and actually there's not a, you know, there's not a really big problem there. You know, we don't seem to have the human trafficking numbers that happened in Germany. And in this case, we now have the differences between the two countries. And again, the kind of inference that we can make is very limited. Um, it could be that, you know, one country is better at enforcing those kinds of laws. It could be something about the institutions of those countries that, uh, you know, that make it less appealing towards um, human trafficking. There's a bunch of different things that can go on. And so this is actually one of the things that I'm dealing with, with in one of the classes that I do. And it's actually some of the most interesting economic papers are ones that are able to either construct the counterfactual or at least deal with it well enough to say that what we've actually identified is a causal effect that we can say even though we weren't able to run our idealized experiment we're able to identify a couple of constants um, that make this an apples to apples comparison so again it's not to say like in this case I've just kind of put myself back to a point of like oh, man I really don't know where I stand on this issue um, because you're absolutely right in one case oh there is a huge human trafficking problem in Holland too um but yeah, that is the thing that surprised me the most, is that I was always under the impression that um, that the argument was that human trafficking would decrease uh, in the face of legalization. And that does not seem to be supported by, by evidence. Um, and so I get sent back to my... Man, where else am I supposed to go? Um... You know, that now I have to, uh, you know, I have to go back and think about it. I mean, it'd be really interesting to study this question empirically. Just the problem with, I think, any kind of study of crime is that you're dealing with an activity that very clearly people don't want to, um, you know, don't want to have reported, that they want to keep secret. And, um, you know, there's some very, I mean, there's a lot of an anecdotal evidence. Um, this is where... I mean, I think it's actually really important to keep informed and, you know, to read journalism, to read people's opinions on these things, because that ultimately gives you questions and it feeds your ideas, the sorts of things to do these uh, research projects with. But it's important not to leave it there. So like the drone paper that I wrote, um, the uh, I think the best thing to do is just post it in the Discord server. I think the, um, you know, the drone paper is a good example of this, where I was pretty sure I knew what I was going to find based off the all of these op-eds that I read. And uh, when I actually came to look at the evidence, now, I mean, again, how I dealt with the problem with the counterfactual arguably wasn't that satisfactory in that paper. So maybe I, you know, maybe I just found a spurious correlation and in the end the paper is not that good. Uh, I'm inclined to think that, to be honest, um, but I'm also quite critical of myself. But um, I don't know. I just think uh, you know, going from these, going from these exper or going from like the journalism, going from the you know, here's my feeling on this issue. Uh, and then using that to form a question on which you can find data. I mean, that's to me the ideal setup for a research project. It's something you're interested so, in. It's something you think is important. So, lackeys were on that boat, the late Mr. Goldrick included. They weren't my lackeys. Subordinates then, whatever you want to call them. There were a lot of people on that boat. Maybe you're behind this whole thing, Phelps. Wouldn't that be a master stroke? Hey, cut me in early and we'll ride this one into the sunset. Sounds like you've got the case all sewn up, Roy. We should call it a day and go home. And miss out on the blue room? I couldn't do that to you. Yeah, so to take something that you think is important uh, and something that you can find data on and let that drive your analysis. I think is good. The one problem, of course, is that if you're passionate about a subject, which I think is important, uh, you can also get into the trouble of wanting to you know, push an agenda 
Um, some of the papers I get the most disappointed by, like I remember somebody sent me like one of these, you know, gamers are bad because they dislike women. Inverse reaction, really cracking down on all sexual services. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like it would really solve the problem. I, yeah, I mean, it's, I was going to say, it doesn't necessarily mean, um, it doesn't, it's not an argument for prohibition at all. Um, but, um, I can remember reading, so a friend sends me this thing. So first of all, I'm not entirely sure about the causal inference, right? It's like, okay, I don't like women, therefore I'm bad at games. And I mean, it's equally absurd, right? It's like, wait, I'm bad at games, so I hate women? This doesn't make a lot of sense, right? This doesn't seem like a normal human response. Yeah. Not talking, eh? Um, and, you know, I take a look at it. There's, I think they use, like, some F distribution or something like that. And, um... Take a break, boys. We would like them to stay, Miss Lichtman. We're making inquiries into the recent deaths of four musicians. It was, musicians. Um, it was a Prasan distribution. Dead black men. Good point. We don't. What we care about Jesus, is Roy. Of army surplus morphine showing up on the street. If you care about working in this town, you better give me something on Biddleston and Bo. Or their knucklehead buddies, Tyree and Lamont. And this is your idea of making inquiries on the Stonefuhrer? I've told you a thousand times about speaking that German gibberish at me, Elsa. Roy! How about you get a drink while I see to this? Will you sit down? See, so yeah, the Why catch... antagonize him, Elsa? You know what he's capable of. Ask your questions, head officer. We have work to do. God, now see, she's German exile, so she knows exactly that she needs to speak absolutely the truth to the police. Um, but yeah, so the challenge here, Jesse Quill, is um, consider the example of drugs. So you've got a... As you raise the risk and the penalties... Um, you know, you also raise the incentive, like the rewards for getting it right go so high. So it just raises the price of the service, which of course makes it more attractive for people to go in. People will take those risks. And of course, that's where you also potentially wind up in situations of violence. And so in some cases, I think you could potentially wind up in a situation. Again, I would need to, to think through all the theory, but you could wind up in a situation in which the sex workers... Do something. Don't just stand it all day. Still wind... I'm sitting, man. Um, still wind up you know, making the same or potentially even less, and it just winds up being, you know, more money into the pocket of the person who's willing to go, you know, that far and, and either keep one step ahead of the cops or pay them off or, or what have you. Um, you know, harsher drug sentencing hasn't necessarily resulted in any fewer drugs in the area. Um, you could try and attack it on the demand side. Uh, I know a lot of people talk about heavily penalizing Johns. Um, but I mean, then you ask another welfare question. It's like, okay, well, if this is how people are living, like, is this, how may, if this is how they make a living. Do like, something. Don't just stand it all day. In this case, you know, the cost, the cost to the John comes up in the form of the risk, which means that, um, you would potentially have the prices of sex workers go down to compensate and try to address the demand. Now, I know our intention is to try and, um, you know, is try to reduce the practice. Um, I mean, I guess in that case, at least it keeps the activity less profitable. So in this case, you could maybe say that the like the pimp side, the, you know, the kind, Those the kinds of criminal elements that we day. don't want profiting from it might work on it. I don't know. It's tough.
Um, maybe just equal, but I mean, I don't know if that um, I don't know if that affects the trafficking problem. I'm not entirely sure how it would be. I mean, I understand there's like legal differences between um, illegal or legal, but I think more permissive uh, laws would probably have the same or at least similar effects to do something. Don't just stand it all day. To legalization. I don't know. Anyways, um, just uh, that was something that kind of kind of came up from the dialogue. I don't know if I really added anything to the. People are dying of overdoses. But... If you know anything about it, you need to tell me. I can't help you. A lot of cats are into the thing. There's nothing special about your boys. Um. So I wasn't paying attention. People dying of overdoses. If you know anything about it, you need to tell me. Can't help you. A lot of cuts are into that thing. They're nothing special. Man, <laughs> that's a liar's face. Uh, let me just see if there's anything. There would have to be some kind of connection made to this individual, so in this case, I'll do doubt. You can do this the easy way with me, or I can call my partner back over. I can assure you, he's a lot less sensitive. You think your threats frighten me? Black man don't supply nothing. <laughs> you think there's a black man in this town holding on I to two tons I think a correction may be in order before Endor's in mind blows. <laughs> White man supplies, black man buys. <laughs> Endor's, um, I tend to Discord, I tend to Discord voice chat with, uh, Jesse Quill, and I, like, I, my mobile doesn't support Discord, her does, hers does, so. My partner mentioned yeah. a couple of names. Do you recognize them? I have no idea what you're talking about. For a German person, I would have expected more respect for authority, madam. So, I mean, she's definitely responding, um, but I don't have any connection to those names, so I'll doubt again. The only way you're going to get rid of me is to give me an answer. I knew Cornell. We worked together a few years ago. He loved the music, but the music didn't love him. What does that mean? Yeah, Val means that he just wasn't that good. Are you in the Discord server already? He was a sad, lonely cat. Boys, take five minutes, please. I need to have a private word with the officer. Um, actually, feel free to post it inside the chat as well, because I'd love some activity, and I think it's a Why good one for people, people to, to write their opinions. The subject that could have them jailed. Drugs are against the law, Elsa. Are you so full of courage, you have never felt ashamed. This is getting us nowhere. Do you think you'll win your war against narcotics? It's not my war. It's against the law. My job is to prosecute the laws of this city. Do you think you can stop people from needing drugs, detective? I'm asking the questions here. Then why do you come to me with your stupid questions? You know who controls the drugs in this city. It's not enough to just survive, Elsa. You have to try and make the world a better place. Brave words. Very noble. Words are just words, Colfax. She's right. We need to pay a visit to the mixed. Cohen? Do you know where to find him? This time of day? You'll find him holding court at the Macambo. He can wait. There's something I need to be sure of. Give me till tomorrow morning. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, partner. All right, we're tailing Ava Brown. Why is uh, YouTube inferior to Twitch? I, I'd, I'd actually really love to get some feedback on this. Oops, sorry guys, I was too... Okay, so uh, my suspicion is, is that because I have a spam filter enabled, uh, it's being harsh on links, so I should be able to fix that. Um, on the other hand, I'm not entirely sure that's a bad thing that uh, we can't post links inside of chat. Yeah, so uh, 
I think it's... I think it's only right that we not condemn uh, YouTube for some things that um, that I've enabled. My default is to delete spam, and so in that case, I believe that's why you're not able to send out links. Um, but again, I'd strongly recommend that uh, that stuff is probably best left for Discord, um, just because, uh, I mean, so I'll put it to you this way. There's a couple of times that I wanted to post something uh, for a link in Jesse Quill's chat uh, today. By the way, she did an absolutely wonderful cast. If you guys, uh, I mean, I hope you guys are following at this point, but she definitely did uh, a really wonderful job. So I definitely have to thank her for that. Um, I think a little bit more importantly, um, I think I'm pooped. Um, Maniacs! Yeah, there's a couple times I wanted to post a link and I actually decided against it because in the end, what links do is it is putting somebody actively away from the content and especially when we have people who are watching on phones, um, either they're not going to be able to part uh, participate and in the end, if it's uh, for me, uh... Ben, I risk losing the trail. Who are you talking to, Cole? <laughs> um... But in the end, if it's uh, for my attention, I always appreciate it, but I'm not going to be able to read it until after the cast anyway. Um, so if it's for the benefit of chat, it's kind of pulling them away from the cast. And if it's for the benefit of me, uh, I'm not actually going to be able to read it at the time. So. Well, I mean, if I get a Twitch alert right now, like for a, uh, if I get like a an alert for a um, like a donation, it's still gonna be active. It's just you know, hosts don't mean a whole lot, and um, obviously, I'm not gonna be getting any Twitch followers tonight. And again, like, don't, please, guys, don't take that as me being uh, hardcore against links or something like that. Like, generally, I figure if people are interested, if there's something more interesting than me, they can go look at it, right? Um, but I also know that me being permissive creates an environment in which people are used to, like, putting links. Aha. Them German women, I tell you. Irresistible. Um. How are you feeling, Gold? LAPD. We're looking for Mayor Cohen. I believe he has lunch here. There's not going to be any trouble, is there? Which table? Number three. If you'll follow me. Um, but yeah, so like the, the idea here is that I also create an environment in which people uh, behave. Um, and so if I permit if I permit links, then LAPD. people are going to be a little bit more um, regarding free in putting them in fine. there. Just fine, Roy. I see you brought Iga Beaver along. Hope he's not going to put the shakes on me again. Cole I Phelps. really like this character, by Mickey the way. Cohen. Good afternoon. <laughs> he has manners. Aren't you a little green for this kid? Meet Johnny Stompanato, Cole. He has the biggest schlong in Hollywood and the smallest gun. Or maybe that's the other way around. I can never quite remember. You're a funny guy, Roy. Haven't I always said what a funny guy Roy is? And how much fun it would be to get together with him sometime. Poor Johnny. He's the dark, sensitive type. He's a serviceman too, Cole. Johnny was at Okinawa. You were in the crotch? Sixth Marines. The lieutenant who won the Silver Star upon Sugarloaf. I've heard of you. Something like that. All right, have we finished flirting? You got something to discuss, Roy? Or are you going to stand around beating the meat while my lunch gets cold? We have some questions. Do I need my lawyer? Man, he's got such a good sketch. I'm sorry, is this kid walking Dude. away from me? Back here, boy chick. <laughs> I want to look at him. There we go. See? He just needs to smile, right? Find a 
Your brother-in-law, Lenny Finkelstein, was selling stolen morphine. He had one-third of the shipment. Old news, kid. I don't know anything about what Lenny was up to. Uh, so how do I connect Finkelstein? Uh, I don't, so I have to doubt. So I'm supposed to believe that you don't know what happened to the rest of the shipment. Lenny, God rest his soul, was a moron. He was family, though, and I haven't made a beef about that, so count yourself lucky, kid. The H is a filthy habit. I don't condone it. The simple solution would be to have all the dope fiends put down. So you don't know where he got the morphine? Kid, ask a question you might get an answer to. We believe there's a link between a group of Marines and the morphine stolen from the SS Coolridge. One of those Marines was shot to death in a club last night. Oh, the sound is lagging behind the video. About that. All right, so definitely nerves. I just need to figure out. Uh, there's a link between a group of Marines morphine stolen from the SS Coolridge. One of those Marines was shot to death in a club last night. So how do I connect him to the murder? Let's try the lie and see what I try and nail him on. I think you're lying. I think the 111 Club was your men. I think you're trying to send a message. I'll send you a message, kid. You better have some proof that that was one of mine, or else you better have health insurance, huh? Sorry, my mistake. <laughs> Especially after what he just said to me. Uh, I'm just gonna have to doubt it. So you haven't heard anything about what happened at the 111 Club? What can I say, kid? I'm shocked that in the land of opportunity, Uncle Sam's finest feel the need to resort to crime. It's a dangerous business. I can attest to that. I'd recommend they get out of the life quickly. A few Negroes saying goodbye on the sidewalk will never make the papers, Mickey. But we had a judge in Pasadena say adios the other day. Prominent white people popping their clogs makes everyone nervous. You know dope has never been my thing, Roy. It's always been for schmendricks like uh, Jack D and Jimmy Utley. But uh, I'll ask around and I'll get back to you. Find a seat. Hey, you boys want some lunch? How about a drink? We'll take a rain check on that. Come on, Cole, we're leaving. We have to cut that dope. It looks bad with people dying. We have to get the rest of it. There's no way of watering down the stuff in those little packages. We have to put the squeeze on those guys and get the rest of it. They don't seem to pipe the fright in that easy. We'll see. See, I'm really disappointed I didn't get to see more... GPL's going crazy. Shots fired at 1384 North Bronson. Some guy with an automatic spraying a Hollywood bus. They want every car. Go! I'm kind of disappointed I didn't get a chance to, um to see more papers, because I'd really love to know a little bit more of the story going on behind this stuff. Anyways, I believe we are about to bust some caps and some asses. And we've got the fancy music. Maniac! <laughs> Not only am I at the wheel, but I've got dramatic music. Who put that pole there? Wasn't there last time? You idiot! God, this is just like when I was back in Nam. What do you mean, suck it? You're driving in game two. I'm awesome at this. Oh, 
Oh, man. So you really do actually have to charge that thing. What? What? What are you doing? Oh, I had my keys on. Uh, my keys were not on WASD. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, oh, wait, man. Um, I think I... Damn it, why are there no ladders or pipes? Terrible construction. People just chilling in the bus waiting for you to get there so you can run away. Just wait until he runs out of ammo. No, that's... I think that's a criminal strategy when they're going after me. Terminated. Hey, the sequel. Search the sni- I'm pretty sure that doesn't count as a sniper. This was definitely the hand that fired the gun. Phone number and restaurant table. Maybe that's the connection with, um, Cohen? Now, what's crazy here, I seem to remember a headshot. This guy's looking pretty pristine. Looks like the work of an amateur, if I'm totally honest. It's the same rifle. One of the BARs. <laughs> He's out of ammo. I wonder why. <laughs> Come on, Cole. You used to use one of these things in Korea. Body's not a plant. I'm not a part of this system. My dad's not a phone. His name was on the manifest. Looks like yeah. Goldrick wasn't the only one to get a message. <laughs> hey, Alvaro. Hey, Lieutenant. He's just a plain detective now, Chico. Who's the jughead? It's my partner, Roy Earl. We just want to find out what happened. What happened is that someone took a shot at my bus. And the cops turned up and start treating me like I'm some sort of pachuco punk. I did throw it on the ground. People though. have been in California for over 300 years. Very fucking admirable, Felix. Or rather, I dropped that guy to the ground. You know what? I'm okay with Felix. Roy is an asshole. All right. Um You hear anything about the big heist on the Cool Ridge? Yeah, I heard about it. So what happened? Not much. Uh, cops came and interviewed me and all the other guys on the ship. That's a lot of blinking. Um, can I catch him in a lie? I just want to see what he challenges him on. I don't believe you, Felix. I've got gunmen blasting away at innocent citizens. 
This is getting out of hand. Is there something you want to tell me? I don't appreciate you calling me a liar, detective. You want to prove that I was involved? <laughs> nope. Sorry. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. Did we get demoted? What was I before? Uh, anyways. Downing. I was down at the 111 Club this morning, waiting for the medical examiner to scrape Eddie I'm McGoldrick's pretty sure I haven't been demoted. Off the bar. You want to tell me anything about that? I heard that Eddie came into some money. The worst Too we've done is being, um... It's a tough break to get through Okinawa and then have to buy it back home. I think the worst that we've done is, uh, had like an average, uh, fill. We've only had like one, uh, we've only had one, like, bad case. Who's shooting at you, Felix? How the fuck do I know? Okay, so that is unquestionably <laughs> not the truth. Um... You know what? Let's just see what he challenges him on again. The dead guy on the roof works for Mickey Cohen. Why would Cohen want you dead? Man, I don't know anything about Mickey Cohen or, or any of those gangsters. <sighs> see, I just don't have the connection between... I mean... So I think the pocketbook is enough to connect him to Cohen. But that's a pretty big stretch. It's nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. You understand that. Yeah, I'll doubt it. Felix, we didn't go through Okinawa to come back to this on our streets. I've got the LAPD to keep me safe, right? Me and all my people. I think I screwed that up. Yeah. We'll be in touch. Felix. So it was a lie. You heard that Jack is in L.A.? I saw his name on the manifest. He's been here a couple of months. I'm sure glad to see you got over your wound, Lieutenant. I mean, Detective. Yeah, so I think this is just like customer. army rank and... He's been under fire um, before. You buying a story? Not for a minute. I think it's just the difference between uh, army ranks and um, police ranks. I'm pretty sure Cole was a lieutenant in the in the Marines. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Jack Kelso. Damn it, Kelso! Kelso was the original Bukowski. Jack Kelso, apartment four, 1408 North El Centro Avenue, Hollywood. Thanks. For those of you who don't remember, Kelso was the complete, I don't know, he just couldn't get anything done right in training. And he kept sassing me. Kind of like chat. I am going to beat the tar out of Kelso. Sergeant. He would never get involved in something like this. We brace him and drag him downtown. Won't work. He's a tough customer. No, he's not. He's a baby. When I slap him, he'll take it and like it. Pandora brand toilet soap. The complexion soap. Gentle white and so fragrant. It's perfect for a daily beauty bath. He's skin really fresh and sweet. And you feeling exquisitely clean from head to foot. Just try the Hollywood beauty bath. Did I just suddenly bet, threaten to beat the tar out of chat? <laughs> I don't think there's anything Hello, subtle about it, Endors. This is Detective Roy Earl. Hello, Cole. We would like a word. Would you like to come inside? Actually, we'd prefer if you'd come downtown with us. Do you mind? Do I have any choice? No. You don't. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? It would be better for all of us if we discussed it at the station. Bad move, Cole. <laughs> I saw that, Endors. Um, I was gonna say, Jesse Quill has actually seen how skinny I am in real life. Up in front of my apartment, like a common criminal, and then expect small talk. Fuck you. It's 
been a while since I've interrogated somebody. Former Marine and OCS training dropout. Do you know that there's a gang war going on in LA trying to recover that stolen morphine? That has nothing to do with me. Okay, so obviously not the truth, but... Uh, let's just try an intuition to get a feel. Okay. I'm sure it would be gripping to hear more of your life story, boys, but the truth is, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you were on the boat, Kelso. What happened? Do you really think a bunch of Marines could muscle in on the dope rackets in this town? Between the vice squad and the mob, I hear it's pretty sewn up. You better watch your mouth. Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. I mean, again, I don't think he's telling the truth, but the big question here is how do I connect him with any of this? Want to take a guess where he got hold of the cash? Not really. God damn it! Okay. You heard that a crate of VARs went missing? No, I didn't. I think we can use the manifest on this one. You're not a good liar, Jack. I know you want to help your guys, but this has gone too far. If you believe I had anything to do with the theft of the VARs, or the morphine for that matter, I suggest you produce some evidence. Let's try it. I've had enough of this. Damn it! You're wasting my time. What do you know about the Army surplus robbery from the Cool Ridge, Jack? What I know is that on three separate occasions, you would have been dead if it weren't for me. I don't know anything about the robbery. So, I mean, I'm going to have to use the intuition again, because he's definitely not telling the truth, but... Thanks. All right, we'll just doubt it. People are dying because morphine intended to help servicemen is being used on the street. Now we have guys from our old unit being killed by mobsters. We can put two and two together, Jack. Gratitude isn't a concept that has much effect on you, is it, Cole? Yeah, I blew Answer that Answer the too. question, Jack. Let's get this over with. I was interviewed when the robbery took place. I don't have anything further to add. Okay. Jack, just want information. Cool. So this is basically Cole. an all doubt mission. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? Do you call yourself a Marine? Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit heel? Look at this chump with his $200 suit and $2,000 car. The tough guy act is really impressive. I like you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm going to be working on it, keeping an eye on you. You can go now. Shooting Robert Steiner, 6780 West Sunset Boulevard. The victim is a Chris Majowski. Another name from the manifest? <laughs> it's manifest, Roy. We're vice. How many of my friends of yours are going to get plugged in? So this one kind of... I wasn't quite sure where it was going at the start. Maniac! Talk about tension. That was like being trapped in an elevator with a married couple who can't decide whether they love each other or hate each other. We go back a long way. You went too easy on him. Next time, you leave it to me. I know how to handle that smug son of a bitch. You don't. Jack will never give up his own men. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so I wasn't quite sure where this uh, mission was going, and then all of a sudden, all of LA's getting shot up. They just walked up and shot the man. Two of them officers. They went Yay, that way. car chases. On, I get to show off my awesome driving skills. I am expert. 
Come on, Roy, I gave you one shot. I can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps. Roy, you always lose out. your hat. So unprofessional. I don't believe I have ever successfully spun out a car, by the way. It's no good. We need to get closer. Keep it steady, and I'll try to bust his tires. Hit him. Put this asshole off the road. Step on it, huh? Just get me a little closer. Ah, oh, damn it. I really wanted to drive him into civilians. Yeah, Evan, I mean, the guy on the roof tore me up. Or are you talking about to the car? Um, I believe that was another headshot. Another man. file. We have a traitor in our midst. All of the names on the list have a hit team assigned to them. So it looks like we're not anywhere close to having this mission being done then. Cohen is meeting with Sheldon tonight. Uh, no, this is... Uh, I don't even think this game's available for PS4. This is a uh, PC title. And welcome to the stream, Marco. Have you played uh, Eleanor before at all? Actually, this is a good question for chat. I think you guys know this a little bit better for me. Fast, otherwise be I no think case. this was available on a console. I just don't know which one. Oh, hey, we got. Uh, it's been a while since we've had one of these. We have to look at damage limitation. We can't allow that strumpet Brent Allen to bring down the whole administration. We've got to put a lid on the press. Can someone talk to Harry over at the Times? It's too late. The Times would look ridiculous if we dropped the story now. Who is this Stoker? So PC Stoker's exclusive. Interesting. White. Nothing that will fix this in the short term. My law and order credentials are disappearing as we speak. Can we get Brenda to leave town? Yes, we can, but she won't go quietly. Brenda has extensive records. Can she at least lay low? That's already been taken care of. Mayor? District Attorney? Who is this guy? And what does he want, Coral? Name's Roy Earl. Detective. Administrative Vice. Aren't you one of the clowns that got us into this mess? Oh, I think that the orders regarding Brenda come down, not up, Mayor. I have a human interest story. It involves a certain LAPD cop, a hero from the war, who has let his beautiful wife and kids down, who has betrayed America for a German junkie whore, who has abandoned his pledge to the LAPD and his commitment to the public, we all serve. It'd be all over the papers by tomorrow, and you would be off the hook. So what do you want in return, Roy? Fingering a fellow officer. I thought Brenda did the fingering. Hey <laughs> Um Yeah, so uh Marco, I am not Spanish, unfortunately. I am Canadian, so if anything I know bad French. Ah, sacre bleu. Guess there's nothing to be found here. <laughs> Uh, 
Thank you, Jesse Quill. I'm sure there's evidence that I'm leaving, but... Uh, taking out all the guys from the ship. Sure. Why? How does that get them the dough? They obviously don't know who has the board for me. They're waiting for someone to crack. Oh, that's fine, Marco. I... Obviously, I'm not, uh... I hope you got some money saved up. I'm, uh... Only an English-speaking caster, but as long as you enjoy watching the game, we're happy to have you here. And if you're looking for a stream in your own language, I can definitely uh, definitely understand and wish you the best of luck in finding a, a Spanish stream. There goes a week's wages! We only hit two cars. We're getting better. Holy crap! Those palm trees just materialized out of nowhere. Wow, that's a really efficient gun. It just keeps firing long after they've gone. Roy, you always lose your hat. This is why I want Bukowski back. Step on it, huh? I'll take Just Kelso at this closer. point. Hit him. Clear this asshole off the road. I can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps. Let's see how fast he runs on bare rims. Getting close. Steer him off the tar. Yeah! I guess the first time we actually took out a... That first shot was kind of cool. The second one was a little embarrassing. Anyways, this is great. I have a feeling we're going to be killing people all over LA. Well, in fairness, Endors, I... Take, I did like two shots on that second guy, and I don't know what was going on with the hitbox, or maybe I'm just blind, but... Slowly following asleep, it's 3 a.m. for you. Well, Jason, I can't wait for the microphone to close, but I think if I speak a little bit more quietly, I say it's an absolute pleasure to not just have you in the chat, but to have a chance to watch you play Tomb Raider I hope that it gives you at least an approximation of what your normal Are we undercover now? Make. Put the siren on! We are undercover, right? Under the covers. Somebody over in New York slowly drifted to sleep while watching YouTube's on the phone. I will definitely have fun killing everybody in LA Noir. We're actually gonna... gonna have, oh! Housekeeping. Oh yeah, there's so many guys to kill here. Oh my god, it's just like Nam again, guys. And how is this guy smirking while he's shooting? I have a lot of respect for that guy. Oh man, and they start me off without my hat. I'm calling bullshit from Bondi on this one. What was that about my shooting indoors? I 
turn the game sounds off if you want to be whispering to you again. Are you suggesting it's not the same? Oh, come on. not the not the same ah gotcha tell Courtney bad, bad luck <coughs> try it was worth a try by the way Jess I don't remember if um if you remember our conversation about aiming <laughs> in chat, but I'm feeling the same thing now. Polar Bear Ice Company. Really did it. <clears throat> All right. I can't Most quite keep the audio off, but at least I got to be a little bit closer into the microphone and say, have a very good sleep. Jesse Quill, it was a pleasure having you in the chat. And I don't know if we're going to do YouTube. We're definitely going to do YouTube gaming again. I just need to decide what the best way to, to set up for it is. Uh, no, uh, this is a chat that we had in, in uh, Discord before. Hey Roy, watch this. I can mouth his last words again. Courtney, Courtney, I really fucked up. Courtney could be a dude's name too. I think they missed one. Well, obviously there's something here that they were... Like, this is the... This is supposed to be some kind of a hit. Or was the... Guy who... I was just talking to the target. Was that dark? I don't know. I just have a really... I don't know. I have a very inappropriate sense of humor, so I have a feeling, um... That's probably just my lack of complete... Or my complete lack of empathy or understanding. Uh, we'll talk about it later. It's probably not worth, uh... Worth diverting from the cast for. This is not enough evidence <laughs> for Cohen. <laughs> anyway, sorry, I don't want to keep you from bed. I know if it's 3 a.m. for you, then it's midnight for me. I was pr gonna try and get some of the econometric stuff done tonight, but I'm also enjoying this. I know we'll only do one case in LA Noir tonight because I, um... Juice back in. I think um, we move on to arson after this one. 
Are you underwater, Roy? Um, but yeah, so uh, we'll move on to another desk after um, after this one, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I think because we're experimenting a little bit with YouTube gaming, it'd be neat to try something with a little bit more... Uh, not right now, huh? You know, a little bit more power. But um, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I guess it depends how long this thing winds up being. Right. I'm pretty sure this has to be the close. Beautiful day. Hope we have no trouble. <laughs> he says at the scene of a shootout. This isn't looking good. I feel like the fat kid at the back of a race. You sure it's Cohen making the hits? All fingers point his way. Your buddies are in way over their heads. Being a Marine doesn't mean shit out here. I'm wondering, obviously there's a lot of cinematic inspirations for this. Uh, I'm a little curious if um, The Third Man was an inspiration for this story. It's not like a direct mapping, but there's definitely some hints in terms of... Uh, some of the story. Hey, more shooting! Jesus Christ. hate when they suddenly jump to the side like that. It's actually a little bit like playing that game, uh, Area 51, that's in some... Actually, not in a lot of arcades, it's like in crappy arcades that have really old... really old games. I'm gonna put out an APB on every one of the sons of bitches on that... APL to Car 11K, Car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King! 11K, go to Hollywood Station. Courtney Sheldon is at Hollywood Station requesting an interview with Detective Cole Phelps. Well, I'll be damned. That's not correct protocol, 11K. I'll take that as a roger. <laughs> Car 11 King en route. Uh, oddly enough, I actually know uh, Courtney Sheldon in real life. Maniac! My favorite. Office, I'm working a major case. I'm that close, Cap. It's gonna have to wait. Let Phelps do the interrogation. But Cap, no buts. This is more important. I was really hoping for some biblical I allegories. Swipe at me. Put him down with my sap. Need a drink. Got the jitters again. Is this your attorney? No, detective. This is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He came down here to help me out. How do you do, sir? 
You stole the morphine from the Coolridge. You can't prove that. Let's see if I can try. And what is your relationship to Sheldon, sir? Tudor mentor. Mr. Sheldon is a medical student of mine. He has a very bright future. Oh, that's nice to know. Too bad all of your war buddies won't get to see your graduation. I would have asked Beckett or Majewski or Driscoll about their involvement, but that's difficult, considering they're all dead. That leaves you, Sheldon. You can't blame their deaths on me, Phelps. So, obviously room for doubt here. Um... You're lying, Corey. The other guys aren't smart enough to attempt something like this. You either give it up, or I go after Jack for it. And how do you prove that, Cole? I mean, this is pretty loose, but it is a connection to... Jack isn't scared of you, Phelps. None of us were. We just followed your orders. Jesus, okay. You were on the ship, Sheldon. Yes, that's correct. So you had opportunity. But it doesn't mean that I was involved. Hmm. So is this what I use Beckett's confession for? Screw it. So you don't mind that the mob executed McGoldrick, Driscoll, and Beckett to get to you? I don't know why you're trying to pin this on me. Where's your proof? Beckett had a message for you before he died. Bad luck. It was worth a try. I feel bad about Beckett, Phelps. He was a hard charger. Those guys deserve more. I don't blame them for taking their shot. Have you finished, detective? I'm just getting started. You have an answer for everything, Courtney. Let's hope Jack does, because now I'm going after him. Is there anyone you're not prepared to sacrifice? Jack is not in this. He's a good guy. You were Jack, Courtney. I don't care who goes to jail. I just want the morphine off the street. What are you offering? Don't be ridiculous, son. This man is gambling. What's your offer? Doctor, good to see you. I'm conducting an investigation. Upstairs in my office, now. This man is about to confess. As of now, he's suspended from duty, pending a fitness review. What are you talking about? You heard the man, folks. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you were. certainly had us full, Detective. Phelps, you're one of my favorite sons. You've broken this old man's heart. Sir, what is going on? You're suspended, Phelps. Hand over your badge and gun. Don't keep him waiting. What is going on here? Your wife's attorney has pictures of you and the German. Compromising pictures, man. She's pressing charges. You'll be formally charged with adultery. A criminal cannot serve as an LAPD officer, as I'm sure you're aware. I don't understand. How could you do it, lad? Your wife, your children, consorting with the enemy and the dope fiend at that. You're lucky the war is over. You'd be taken out and shot. The department doesn't need this kind of publicity, Phelps. Hand over the gun, keep your head down until your board hearing. I forbid you to make any comments to the press. Man, I didn't even see that coming. What the hell were you thinking? Huh. Marie, listen, Marie, I need to explain. Please leave. You're upsetting the girl. Let me see them, Marie. They're my daughters. Go to her, Cole. You have done enough damage here. Do you want me to call the police? 
I think that's the first time we've seen her wife, actually. Can't we at least talk? What is there to talk about? Do you love her? Do you? What were you thinking? What about our children? Can you imagine what this has been like for them? Go away, Cole. My father has hired an attorney, and you will be hearing from me. I'd like to explain, Maria. To tell you what I've been going through. What you've been going through. I have had reporters camped out on the front lawn all morning. I can't stand it, Cole. See, I think a really big missed opportunity here was to have another infuriating interrogation game where all of your answers are going to be wrong. promotion oh man that's a lot of vehicle damage hey meritorious so it's actually really um game seems like it's bugging out again um getting a marine like felix route on his buddies would have required subtle questioning and solid evidence yeah so we missed one clue so i probably did the questioning wrong um, I was wondering, so I heard that, like, in the book, so, sorry, it's not heard, but I took a look in the book, and each of the branches that you've been in moves in, and it's obviously a bit of a weird switch to Vice, um, but, like, they kind of justify it in the story, and then I'm like, well, how is Arson a promotion? And in this case, now, now we have a story reason. So, let's check out the cinematic. The gas man. <laughs> I wonder if this uh wonder if this game's working as intended. Maybe it's a mime. Maybe they put me on arson because they know of all the hot stuff I was getting okay, up to everyone. with the German woman. Keep it down. Cole Phelps joins the arson squad today. <laughs> How'd you like porking that German whore, Phelps? <laughs> Phelps is up before a review board in December. Until then, he works the arson desk. End of story. Phelps. Yes, sir. I don't care what you did or didn't do, Phelps. I hear you're a good case man. But if you fuck up on my detail, I'll have you out of here before your feet touch the ground. Do we have an understanding? Yes, sir. Cap, we don't want a fucking rat like Phelps. Can it, Tilden? Phelps, I'm partnering you with Herschel Biggs. I don't do partners. You know that, Cap. You do now, Biggs. Social basket cases like you two should get along just fine. Biggs will show you the ropes, Phelps. This is arson. There are no ropes. It shouldn't take long, then. Start with these two. House fires. 326 South Kenmore Avenue. Stefan's family was out of town when it happened. Then go to 4414 Rosewood, family by the name of Sawyer. Fire brigade will be on location. Are they suspicious, Captain? That's for you to find out, Detective. Now get out of here. Both of you. Get out! Alright, 
so I'm going to say that's it for LA Noir tonight, but that's not it for streaming tonight. Uh, I think it's... And first of all, I actually really appreciate that there's people still hanging out here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to change up the games. And this is also so I can have an opportunity to play around a little bit with 60 FPS streaming, which is something I've wanted to do for a while. But uh, I haven't... Um, I haven't had the... Uh, the real opportunity to, to do because uh, trying to do trying to switch in transcodes would mean I would lose uh, the transcodes. So let's take a look and see what we can get up to. Um, oh, there's actually a couple of games that I think would work. Is there something quick and good looking that I can do? Uh, really sorry, I don't have any fun commentary. I'm actually. I'm trying to do extra hours just so I can I can see this. I mean maybe layers of fear, but I think we can do better. Hmm. Okay, I've got two, maybe three. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to regret doing this one, but let's give it a shot. Uh, I won't... Well, Geometry Dash doesn't give me a chance to show off the images. Um, Dark Souls, but Dark Souls may be locked to 30 FPS. Um, but uh, actually, so by reckoning, I'm still doing the um, the Four Kings fight. But yeah, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to turn off the stream very quickly and come back. This is just so I can enable it for 60 FPS. And uh, again, I'd just love some feedback in terms of how the stream looks, uh, whether or not you feel that there's a benefit. Uh, I believe you will only get the advantage of 60 FPS if you, um, if you go to the highest setting. So I will be shutting off for a quick second and we'll be coming back to finish off the night with this. Uh... It's a fun game. I hope you guys, I hope you guys like it. Yeah. Oh, wait, <laughs> it just occurred to me you guys didn't get to see the settings that I just turned on. Oops. Uh, I did the wrong resolution. I may have to quit out. So I think this is Unreal 3. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's Unreal 3. Um... I don't see a damn thing on my screen right now, so let's fix that. Yeah, there we go. Looking good. All right, let me just make sure I've lined up chat and all that correctly.
and we will be good to go. Oh, no, we won't. <laughs> One more adjustment. Oh, I mean, good if it didn't turn off. Um, all right, I'm going to resume the game. Now I'm playing this uh, single player on the hardest difficulty, but this is the remake of Rise of the Triad. Um, I've got it set on ludicrous detail. So this is just a mindless FPS. Um, the hardest difficulty is actually really hard. Um, but we're just going to kill stuff. Whoa! Rockets are melee weapons, right? Oh crap, I'm not going to survive this. I didn't even know they could do that. Okay, that was a mistake. Okay, those were just like trial runs, right? Come on. Give it to me. Man, these guys are tough. Yeah, I definitely believe they're melee weapons. Thought he might be faking it. Hang on. Ah, oh, crap. There was health in one of the other rooms. Oh, well, I'll figure it out. Yes, I realize I'm playing this far too cowardly for a, a high-octane shooter, but hard mode is hard, yo. Fucking A! Uh, as the people who use rockets as melee weapons are dead, you think there should be no ar arguments? Chuck is the smartest dude you know, so if he says rockets are melee weapons, then dang it, they are. Oh crap, I probably shouldn't be saying I'm playing L.A. Noir, right? Uh, let me just fix that. Okay, I much prefer YouTube's way of handling, um, of handling that info. So yeah, guys, I'm not gonna lie, uh, there's a lot of people who are hating on YouTube gaming. This is actually a very solid platform. Um, I think Twitch had better smarten up because I think this is, I mean, honestly, this is a streaming platform that is more friendly to smaller casters, and, um, I mean, honestly, like, oh, okay, I guess I should be paying attention. Oh, well, you guys aren't watching for scale anyways. Um... But yeah, so, I mean, I'll be honest with you, the only reason why I'm, um, you know, why I'm even playing, or sorry, why I'm even considering staying on Twitch is that I've already established a rapport with you guys. There's got to be a way that I can get out of this thing. Maybe you should stick to playing with a game controller. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, the fact that you guys are, whoa, I didn't even know I could... Come from this angle. Easy. Um. Oops. But yeah, so I mean, the fact that you guys are all on Twitch, and this is how I met you, uh, is really the only reason why I would even consider still streaming on it. Um, I think it's better for video quality. I think it gives me more options as a streamer. Um, I don't need to worry about this ridiculous nonsense about, you know, okay, well, maybe if I'm popular enough, 
you know, YouTube will give me some attention. And more importantly, I was able to connect to a server right at the start and not have to, um, you know, not have to worry about not being able to, uh, to buffer. Uh, to be honest, YouTube Gaming got a lot of hate because it's another platform, like how League of Legends and Dota players tend to argue about the game. Yeah, if that's the only reason for the hate, um, I am not at all interested in engaging with that dialogue. But like, I mean, for me, setting it up, very, very easy. Um, I was able to do it. So, I mean, it took me seven different servers to try and do something on Twitch today, and I ultimately couldn't do it. Okay, I'm boned. And they are not joking when I talk about this difficulty level. Uh, I really need to get to that health, but I don't think I'll survive. Well, oh, maybe. But yeah, like, most importantly, right, we obviously tried this, um, after, uh, we obviously tried this after, um, you know, multiple tries on... It's raining! You! We tried this after a few times on, um, on Twitch. Um... I mean, maybe they're having server issues or something like that, but I mean, it's not the first time that we have had these, like, buffering issues and stuff like that, so... I don't know, like... I still need to deal with this, um, with the stickiness of the platform, right? Like, obviously, people want to keep going to, you know, to their favorite streaming platform, and obviously Twitch is dominant, and will be dominant for a really long time. Um... But I think if people were to actually just like sit down and say it's like, okay, as a small streamer, as somebody who wants to focus on putting on the best show that I can, which is the platform that's going to allow me to do that? Other than the audience, it is very hard to argue that uh, Twitch is offering something that YouTube isn't. Uh, and I realize that's not a popular opinion. Uh, and obviously I'm super, like, yeah, I will be the first one to admit I'm very, whoa! Cool. Um, you know, I'll be the first to admit that I'm really, really demanding of services, but I think it's good to be demanding of services. Like, so far as I'm concerned, I owe Twitch nothing, um, and they have done some practices which I just fundamentally disagree with. Um, and it's not just the ban thing. Like, there's definitely some behaviors on Twitch that I think are pretty reprehensible. So, um, so yeah, I mean, honestly... The big one for me is I'm encouraging the streamers I'm interested in to consider even doing like a side cast on YouTube. So I think what I'm going to do... Something tells me there's a few bugs still in this game. Or, or maybe this is a character designed to jump through walls. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to add like a YouTube day. Um, to my cast. And obviously I can go back to reading or something like that. Um, I mean, obviously I'll make sure that it's something I have rights for. Um, but I think that's a really nice way of, like, prodding people, showing, like, honestly, I think one of the best ways to get streamers to adopt the, uh, the YouTube platform would be to show them how much better it is. Uh, and that's what I intend to do. Like, so I don't like this idea of like telling people how they should run their streams without actually like giving some evidence. Um, I'm not quite sure what that TV is supposed to do. Um, yeah, I mean. Basically, uh, there's a lot of opinions that keep running around about like certain streaming practices, certain things that you can do. Um, but honestly, for me, I think the best way that I can try and sell, you know, or make the YouTube platform grow um, is to just show people how much better it is uh, to put on a better, put on a better show. Um, I don't intend to abandon Twitch because obviously that's just, I mean, that's just not going to work, right? Uh, I would basically be shooting myself in the foot and I'd have to be... The one thing about uh, YouTube is that there's a lot of people very well established on this platform. Even if they don't do live streaming. And so it, I suspect it'll be a little bit harder to get sort of the foot traffic or something like that. But on the other hand, 
um, to be able to say to people, it's like, hey, do you want to see, you know, do you want to see me do something I haven't been able to do on the other platform? You know, do you want to see me maybe stream at a higher, um, maybe not high resolution. I just kept this at 720 still, but, um, you know, do you want to see 60 FPS? Do you want to see something a little bit closer to what I'm looking at? Um, I'm definitely interested in doing some more stuff like that. And again, the reading is a big one for me because I think reading is actually original content that I was fairly good at and I kind of had pulled out from under me. Uh, I believe you can adjust that. Um, in, it's either in your Google settings or your YouTube settings. I think you can make like a second. So like, there's my personal like Google Plus account. I don't use that for the streaming stuff. I just use that for my... Um, I use that for my personal stuff, and then I believe you can do a, um, I believe you can make a secondary account that has, like, a hand. Alright, I'm pretty sure I'm dead, unless I can find, I think health is on the, at the end. Oh, but I have this new attack I can use. I thought I could have used. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right. I really like this game. I know I'm sucking at it, but How's that shit feel? Definitely not Duke Duke. <laughs> um, so, so here's a question, actually. Who is familiar with the original Rise of the Triad? I actually played it. Uh, I have it on this PC, actually. Okay, this reload is going to be the death of me. Okay, so I can't go running into that with a shotgun. Similar situation with DJ. Oh yeah, I don't use I, I simply don't use Steam unless somebody specifically like gifts me something on it. Or um, wow, that is some range on that net. Hello. Okay, there's got to be a button I can press. Fortunately, I can just blow stuff up and. Oh baby. I think I actually hurt myself more that way. Um. But yeah, so I don't use, um, the big one for me about Steam is try to remember the last time Steam did, like, a consumer-friendly practice. Um, the example oh. most people give me is, uh, oh, you know, well, they reversed the decision on, um, on the paid mods for Skyrim. And I'm like, isn't that them making a crappy decision and then, like, not making a crappy decision? I don't think that's a, like, that... If that's the best that we can expect from Steam right now, please say, yeah. Um, you know, if this is the best that we can say uh, Steam gives us now, then, you know, I'm, I'm worried. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. I keep thinking that's a zoom button. Uh... I don't know if refund system is really worth it. There, I mean, GOG has had a refund system before they did. Um, yep, I'm gonna have to... I'm actually gonna have to go into my, uh, my settings. I, like... So obviously this is the System Chalk channel. And I think maybe it's under, like, the Creator Studio or something like that. Okay, that was a Get back to the chop! <laughs> I don't think I can get past this spot.
Yeah, exactly. Steam is... So, like, the big thing is that, like, everybody loved Valve for the longest time, but I'm almost wondering if their business strategy was just to, you know, build up a lot of goodwill so that they could just kind of exploit it when, um, when they became the dominant platform. I mean, I guess kudos to them for the successful business plan. It worked, but... I kind of expect more. Um, I mean, I really like buying stuff off of Humble Bundle. Uh, you guys tend to donate a lot in American dollars, so it's really great to be able to uh, choose a charity that some of that goes towards. And again, the prices are comparable. And then I also really like GOG because they're, number one, very supportive, and they have like a really nice... Um, like, they really make sure that the classic stuff that they have is ready to play, as opposed to Steam, which just kind of dumps it on... Uh, Dumps it on the platform and hopes, uh, hopes, you know, not too many people complain. Um, that reload was a killer. Um, damn it. Uh, yeah, so. I mean, I wish I could buy more stuff off God, but they don't always have necessarily the titles that I'm looking for. Um, other than that, what else? I guess it's Humble Bundle and Ma and the Gog Store that are probably the two that I buy the most off of. And um, I actually wish I would go to Green Man Gaming more because they sort of seem to be an interesting company. I really wish I could aim these things. Apparently, it's not a bug, it's a feature. Let's just open those doors. Fire one. And get a new rocket. This baby could put a smile on anybody's face. Say so they were way too late to the game on that. Origin and GOG had better refund systems long before Steam. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, I'll be honest with you, too. I'm. I don't hate Origin. Um. They don't have a lot of sales, so I don't have a lot of reasons to buy stuff off of the platform. Um, I think it's a little daft the way that they do um, Battlefield. So like when I want to play, mul oh, you know what? That's what I should have done, Battlefield. Like, so when I want to play multiplayer Battlefield, um, I have to like open a web browser and then play the game, which I think is a little strange. Um, but like other than that, like that's not a big complaint. That's just kind of like, oh, this is so unusual from any other games that I play. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I think, um, I mean, I'll work with Origin if I have to. The majority of stuff I've gotten off of Origin has usually been because it's part of a, a deal. It's a rocket launch. I got caught on a lot. lot. Maybe it's time. Yeah, so GOG uh, does a lot of classic titles. So I really like uh, Alpha Centauri. Uh, Alpha Centauri is a game that. It's actually Fraxis' first game. Jesus Christ. It's raining. You. Um. Basically, they lost the rights to make Civilization in a legal battle. They made Civilization 2, and the argument was they only had the rights to make one sequel, and so Activ Activision got the rights for the follow-up Civilization game, which wasn't really that good. And so, rather than kind of engage in a protracted legal battle that they probably couldn't uh, win, uh, they went off, founded their own company, and the first thing that they made was sort of the what if uh, scenario of humanity arriving uh, at the destination for the science victory. And they sort of did a science fiction game. So it was basically one that where um, civilization seemed to be a lot more about history. It felt like Elvis and Cherry was a lot more about um, philosophy. Kind of took it as its inspiration. And, uh, 
I liked it. People always say that the Civ games that don't take history as the backdrop are too cold. Uh, I don't quite agree with that assessment. But Alpha Centauri is like one of my favorite games ever. Um, and so that was where I started using GOG. But another good example of GOG would be uh, where I got Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers. So that game that I was playing uh, about a month ago. That was another GOG release. Uh, and again, an example of a game that um, got a remake that wasn't very good. But the original still stands up. I mean, as an adventure game, like, obviously. I definitely feel like the adventure game runs a little more on nostalgia than it does on quality. Again, that's uh, largely a baseless opinion on my part. But this is one of the things that sucks about Rise of the Triad, by the way, is that the uh, characters actually fake their deaths. This baby could put a smile on That's why sometimes face. you see me shooting corpses. It's not because I'm a sicko. Always found the web. Oh, sorry. Um, every few months they give away a free game on Origin. More than half your games on Origin you got free, and generally the game stays free until the next game comes up. Yeah, they've been really long-standing ones. And you found Beyond Earth to be a good game, especially with the expansion. So I don't have the expansion. I'd love to play it, um, but um, I I personally am okay with Beyond Earth. I don't quite get why people were disappointed by it. Um, obviously, people as always, are entitled to their opinions, but I always sort of felt that, uh... I mean, I sort of, I think people were maybe a little disappointed in Beyond Earth in that it didn't really feel to offer a whole lot that Civilization V didn't already cover with maybe just, like, a different skin. But, um... I don't know. I'm, I was very satisfied with the experience. I'm happy I owned it. Um, I suppose it's a little telling that I didn't wind up buying the expansion, but this is more like... I mean, obviously, so, I need to be, sorry, I should clarify that. You guys have been exceptionally generous with your donations and that. So when I say it's a money thing, like, obviously, I could put some of the donation money towards a Beyond Earth expansion. But the other way that I look at that is, all right, I'm going to run for it. This all right, good. Put a smile on um, anybody. This will hopefully take out the, I don't know which one has the rock. I think I'll just wait for them to come around. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so clearly I could take some of that donation money. In fact, uh, Albadon gave us one uh, just this morning and uh, put that towards uh, getting something like the Beyond Earth expansion. And I, I would certainly consider it. Um, the only reason why I'm not really doing that right now is because if you consider there's so many games that I've started and haven't gone through. So Mass Effect is a great example of this. Um, I want to get through the entire Mass Effect series and we're like pretty much at the introduction of the first one. I mean, we're, we're able to fly to our bring ship. The pain. Um, I just want to get to a checkpoint, man. This weapon kind of sucks. Um. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm not quite sure what this does. Alright, that's a cool weapon. It 
It's maybe like the shrapnel cannon in like, oh. Unreal Tournament. This baby could put a smile on anybody's face. Um, what was I saying? All oh, right, yeah. So like Gabriel Knight, Mass Effect. Um, I gotta get back to Crusader Kings 2. I've always wanted to do Europa Universalis uh, 4 on stream. Oh! I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, sorry if your name's still coming up. I'll try and give you a hand with that as soon as I, I go offline. I won't be doing this too much longer. This is mostly just a visuals test. By the way, guys, I haven't heard much in terms of visuals. What do you think about like the game, the smoothness? Um, I was hoping the 60 FPS would make it seem more more human than human. I always loved the mechanic in Rise of the Triad where you would uh, time to bring the pain. Damn. Man, this game doesn't pull any punches. It's a direct rocket hit. Oh, whoa! That's what that thing's supposed to do. Ah, more than one of them. Wow. Uh, didn't think you have your settings at 360p on. currently, so your settings are pretty low. Yeah, so you definitely want to see the advantages. So is, does anybody have this on, um, on like the high, uh, high settings? It's not how I'm intending to use it. There we go. That is oh, not my favorite weapon. Uh, yeah, T. Clark, that's the highest. So how's the video? I guess compared to a normal stream that I do, do you notice any difference? I always react so slow to that one, even though I know it's there. Um, but yeah, anyway, so uh, long story short on... Um, Time to bring the pain. Damn! You know what? Let's flame ball this one. <gasps> yeah, so all things uh, told, I mean. I've always loved the Civilization series. I probably always will. Um, so it's really a question of uh, when, not if, uh, about getting the... Oh, there's the exit. Cool. Um, it's probably more of a question of when, not if, in terms of when I get the expansion and play it. But obviously, being able to hold back and, uh, and get it on a discount uh, while I'm kind of digesting the rest of my playlist is uh it's a better financial strategy and more importantly like i'll probably still use the donor money for it um i just want to use that when i think um i want to use that when one i think i'm going to be able to put on a good show with it and two if i know i'm not going to play it right away i'm a better steward of that money if i can make it go further um so looks pretty damn smexy all right that's good to know um i am also so i bumped up the bit rate by a thousand kilobytes a second 
and then I'm running it at 60 frames a second, and I figure this is a game. Actually, I don't know what my frame rate is right now. Let's do a quick, um... Hard mode is definitely super hard. Oh, man. I'm gonna do continue. Um, currently this is 150 frames, but this is also not exactly what... Okay, listen. To open doors, you'll need to flip it. To open doors, you'll need to flip a switch. This gives access to... Shut up, you worthless piece of shit! <laughs> Yeah, 150 uh, frames a second. So obviously 60 frames a second is not uh, not exactly giving you the experience I'm having, but I figure anything beyond is just kind of showing off. That's a big one that I've, like, I've always wanted to have better quality settings. It's actually one of the reasons why I built the computer that I did, is to have better quality uh, settings, especially going from, like, that really... Um, narrow um, bandwidth that I had earlier. I really wanted to do something that could hopefully like knock people's socks off as far as uh, quality is concerned. This is not an easy level to go through. Probably just as well as I don't have uh, rockets. Died several times over. These are your dorms? So the original version of Rise of the Triad was actually supposed to be a sequel to Wolfenstein, which is why all of the uniforms look a little Nazi ish. Um, they just decided not to change the. Uh, Just decided not to change it too much once they they went in a different direction. Anyways, yeah. So because like the the big dilemma for those of you who are interested in picking up streaming and maybe haven't thought about the technical side behind this, like one early appeal of my stream was not necessarily the quality of my cast, um, but it was the fact that I mean, so first of all, you know, streaming uh, Crusader Kings is always a nice a nice draw. But, um, also the fact that, um, I had a, like, a low bitrate, it allowed people on mobile, like, people who weren't, um, I need to get out of that. One nice thing about this game is the enemies are, uh, affected by the, um, by the environment, so if you blow something up, you, uh... I mean, so if they run through the fire, for example, they'll be burned by it. Good old keys. It's been a while since I played a game that's had a key. Oh, you know what? I think I know where I need to go. I mean, I always imagined keys were just ways of making like levels that were necessarily small because of system requirements. I thought they were just a way to get a little bit more mileage out of uh, levels that you can make too sprawling. Ah, huh, it's not a key, huh? I suspect this was a big old waste of time. Um, yeah, so, I mean, now I have this twin dilemma, right? I put a bunch of money into building a computer that I want to, you know, I want to put on a good show with. And obviously, I'm a little less interested in, like, streaming at super low bit rates when I paid extra to have an internet connection that can handle the higher ones. Um, but I also don't want to turn around and say it's like, oh, hey, you know, you supported me on mobile while I was still trying to find an audience. I'm going to thank you by making my stream unwatchable. And more importantly, like, just average, um, you know, average viewers don't necessarily have the bandwidth this for could put a, smile on a um, you know, a 3500k stream. Like, that's a fairly... 
I feel weird that I can't get into this room. I feel like I've been in this level before. After him. Yeah, how's that shit feel? Um, yeah, so, you know, this is what transcode solves, right? Um, being able to say, hey, I'm gonna upload the best quality that I can to your service. <laughs> uh. And, um, you know, people can decide what works best for their system is, you know, it's the one that, in my opinion, you know, works best for everybody. And this is the, like, I don't care about the sub money. I don't care about advertising revenue or something like that. And I mean, don't get me wrong. I would definitely run ads if I had the option. Um, Payback time. No, no, no. Thank you. <laughs> um, I think it's perfectly reasonable to uh, ask for payment for what you're doing, and advertising is the way you can do it. And obviously, I mean, if people don't want to support the cast, then they have stuff like Adblock. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna turn around and say you're stealing content. That's dumb. Um, people just need to react to the technology that's available. Um, but yeah, the money thing about partnership is not that big of a priority. Um, it's just simply having access to transcodes so that, you know, the people who have... Like fantastic, man. <laughs> well, this isn't gonna work. You know... The people that have systems that can support it... Do. Uh, you know, do get the best experience. And the people who, you know, just want to watch your show... Uh, don't get left out in the cold because you wanted to put on a better show for other people. Um, I guess because I've been singing the praises of YouTube, I think the one thing that really gets me about... Um, one of the things that really gets me about the current format of Twitch is that it is very much a like, choosing winners sort of format. So... You know, I think in the absence of any better measure, um, clearly viewer count is going to be a proxy for quality. More people want to watch the stream, chances are it's good. Um, so I get that as far as ranking. Uh, streaming quality, you know, the ability to get transcodes. Definitely something that pushes partners to an edge over their uh, unpartnered peers. Uh, because again, you know, this is the only platform I've actually been able to stream the way that I want to stream for you, uh, which is 3,500. I might even be able to go higher. I, I'd be really interested if YouTube allowed me to, to push the bit rate uh, even more. I mean, then I would maybe consider um, doing something like 1080p. Uh, I definitely stream at much lower resolutions than I can play my games at. Uh, and it's mostly just so I can accommodate the 16x9 format. Um, but yeah, so I mean, obviously in terms of just the quality of video that you're watching, um, partnered streams have an advantage because they're able to have adjustable bit rates, um, transcodes. YouTube gives that to everybody. I believe Hitbox gives that to everybody as well. Um, and then, of course, the most important thing is, and I mean, I bring this up because it's something I was directly affected by, but the idea of innovation on the platform. So, you know, it's not hard to imagine that once upon a time when somebody wanted to do a creative stream that they probably were banned because, you know, it's not gaming content. Um, I mean, I kind of like the original bazooka a little bit more, but... No, but it only has three shots, so... Um, you know, now there's a creative channel and stuff like that. Um, I know that there were a couple of partnered streamers that did do book reads. Uh, it was fan fiction, but they did absolutely do reading streams. Now... Please! Don't shoot! Whether or not... Um, Put it down. You know, whether or not it's like... I, I'm not gonna like say something. Oh, it's copying my idea. I probably don't know who I am. Um, 
but these are these are not channels that were shot down for doing this reading. Uh, I'm assuming now that it's in the terms of service, um, they probably. Uh, but the big thing here, right, is that this is an example of something that I think you guys. I mean, at least the feedback I got was that you guys enjoyed it. Uh, something that I was, I was very happy to give. And in the end, I'm not able to give on the Twitch platform. And until Twitch made a specific oh. ruling saying that that type of content was forbidden. You um, get it. This is a power up? Oh, Jesus Christ, what is this thing? Uh, okay, well, let's. Thank God that's over. Um, because I kind of want to know what this thing is. Damn it! You got it. This is a power up. Oh, yeah, it's the same. It's the same one. Oh. Cost me a lot of help. This baby could put a smile on anybody's face. Yeah, like, the, the, the end story of this is, is, like, Twitch will make its decisions in terms of how it runs its platform, but very clearly there is behavior that partners can get away with that, um, that lower, like, lo lower end streamers can't. Um, and this There's is absolutely no stuff that affects now. the quality of a cast. So, here's a good example. Total Biscuit was talking about, um, you know, you can't draw dicks on uh, on YouTube. You specifically get like written up for that or something like that. And he says, you know, I've got X number of viewers or something like that. You know, I don't think Twitch is gonna give me a message, and they won't, right? And so this is something where he's able to give like a style of content. That, I mean, okay, so like dicks are obviously not the reason people watch Total Biscuit. But you can now sort of see how these things become quite subtle for um, for other streamers. So, for instance, consider somebody, consider a partner streamer who is able to get away with maybe telling a racier kind of joke or something like that. You always get to say it's like, oh, I like this guy because, you know, they always keep it real. You know, everybody's trying to, you know, All to right. take this too professionally or something like that. And the reality is, is that his peers, the unpartnered streamers, don't have the choice. They face a very credible threat of banning, you know, ending their ability to do any kind of streaming on that platform if they don't do what Twitch mandates. And when partner streamers are able to play by a different set of rules, it means that they are able to provide a type of content that, um, that the other streamers aren't. And so basically, again, when you have something like a reading stream, which is innovative, it's something that doesn't exist on, uh, on Twitch to begin with, and partner streamers are able to do that and non-partner streamers aren't, it gets away from the kind of principle that you normally want to operate under, which is, you know, young hungry competitors run in and try to, um, you know, try to innovate, try to improve on a market. Think up. Oh. And your next life, you'll have to explain your thought process there. Um... I think I'll call it here, just because I'm getting really tired. Uh, this is mostly just to see if I could do a, a high frame rate game. Um, but yeah, I mean, it basically comes down to the fact that you, you've you now created two different kinds of content, and because there's somebody who's already established as a partner, they can actually get away with sort of resting on their laurels on the glory days from before, and they get to pick and choose the successful ideas. And, you know, I'm sure eventually one day Twitch policy will catch up and be able to do the sort of stuff that I wanted to do. Um, but I'd also like to, I mean, to me, um, this is a point where there's a credit, you know, there's a credible alternative as a platform that's come up. So anyways, uh, that's the end of the stream for tonight. Uh, this is a cool little experiment. I'm glad that you guys came along and shared it with me. We've still got uh, about as many people as originally came, came along with us. So, um, I know I missed out on a little bit of chat, so I'll just read some of the stuff that was on here. That's how a lot of people you watch feel they don't want to get partnered uh, on Twitch for the money, they want it so they can finally get transcoding. You've always thought it was stupid that unpartnered streamers would be locked as source, and then people with weaker connections are basically screwed because source is unwatchable. 
Um, it's a double standard, largely because those streamers uh, with Millie's jobs bring in the big bucks for Twitch. Twitch isn't going to ban those streamers and risk them moving elsewhere. Exactly. Uh, but the big thing is, is that you're saying is like, you know, you've very explicitly said that this is permitted on your platform, right? Like, the the thing is, is that somebody who just goes on Twitch and does something, Twitch can say it's like, look, this isn't what we're about, right? We've, you know, we've disciplined them. This is, you know, this is not acceptable on our platform. Totally fine. A, um, yeah, Trick 2D did a fake swat and got banned for a day. Non-partner streamer would have got, been gone from the platform permanently. Uh, very likely true, um, but I'm not, not sure. Um, the big thing on this one would be, um, you can say, how do I put this? So, you know, an unpartnered streamer, you just get to say, it's like, look, you know, anybody can use our platform. We let people know the rules of conduct. If they break them, you know, we expect the community to report them. This is not affiliated with our company. You know, we're provide. you know, it's like suing the paper company because somebody wrote something racist on a piece of paper. What people do with the medium is up to them. When a partnered streamer does something, Twitch is endorsing it, right? There, there is a partnership, a very explicit partnership. So, like, I heard somebody complaining about, you know, Twitch alerts and how there's a potentially a connection with G2A that's going to be happening. It's like, you know, it affiliates Twitch with G2A, who's into some scummy stuff. And I'm like, look at Lyric, right? He's got G2A right on his front page. He's a partner of Twitch. Of course this is an affiliation with Twitch. Um, he's working for you. <laughs> um... You know, I'm not going to say he shouldn't have G2A. I got the offer and I said, no, um, I'm not, personally, I'm not interested in being affiliated with a site like that. Um, but that's a decision I made for me. I'm not going to tell Lyric, you know, an incredibly successful Vancouver streamer, no less, um, how to run his channel. He clearly knows something that most of us don't. Um, but yeah. I just, um, I think the only thing that I would ask is for consistency, right? That's, I think, the only thing that people can ask for on these platforms. Anyways, guys, uh, it's been a lot of fun. Um, I will be back on Twitch unless the servers act up. And frankly, if the servers start acting up, I've got a better offer elsewhere. So uh, I'm going to have to do some thinking about how I work YouTube into my... My plans, I was actually thinking of doing some stuff for YouTube anyway. And this has just given me more reasons to, uh... I'm looking for going down the fast way. There we go. Let's turn this up. But yeah, um, we'll be back on Twitch. We'll be doing Crusader Kings 2 very soon. Um, more co-op with Jesse Quill on the horizon. I've been given a couple of codes for games that are looking to do promos. Uh, I'd like to do some more of those again. And I just need to catch up with a little bit of schoolwork. But I don't have any more labs for the rest of the term. Or sorry, for the rest of the week. So I will be able to get a little more streaming done as long as I get my homework done. So uh, based on tonight, you're really not seeing any reason why you shouldn't make a move to YouTube. Uh, the me reason is I don't want to alienate people who are already following the cast. It's very important to me that I stream in a way that uh, people who supported me are going to be able to experience. But frankly, I like this YouTube gaming platform. I'm going to be recommending it to more streamers, and uh, if anything, hopefully it puts a fire under Twitch to pick up their game. Uh, the outages on the servers have not, they're not acceptable, and the fact that I get transcoding options on YouTube is a major draw. And I mean, let's face it, YouTube is a bit much bigger game than Twitch. Um, look at any of the sub numbers. These guys are huge. Even the biggest streamers on Twitch are not pulling the kinds of sub numbers that YouTube is, so. But, 
let's face it, I am not even close to to thinking about numbers, so. That's it for me, guys. It's been a lot of fun, and we'll see you next time.